Hi everybody, hope you're having a great day. It's Stacy here at Scrap Mania and I was gonna show you some of the new crafty things that came in. Uh, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the My Favorite Things release. This one, this one came in a few days ago. Um, and then they actually just released another one because they're doing two releases a month now. And um, it's kind of hard to keep up. But yeah, there's some cool stuff in here. Some of this is brand new. Some of this is things that we have had uh, before that we needed to restock. So we'll kind of show you a little bit of everything. The first one here is a favorite of mine. This is called Level Up. And this is for anybody who has a gamer in their life. Xbox, PlayStation, Wii, um, Switch, any of those things. There is a die that is sold separately, which can be used, looks like two different size controllers. And what's nice is you've got these different um, control functions and things too, so you can make these different colors and make it look more realistic. And this is called Game Controller. And then your sentiments that go with the set, which can be used with or with other stuff too, because I know there's other video game sets that have come out previously, so these would be nice to mix and match with those two, are um, I Like Playing With You. This is actually called Level Up is the name of the set. Um, so I Like Playing With You. It's your game. Take control. Hope your birthday is epic. Achievement unlocked. Life's better in two player. And it's got the little two people. Um, you can always hit the restart button. That's a nice one, because um, that doesn't apply to video gaming at all. It can apply to everyday life. Um, you push my buttons. I have some children that are pushing my buttons today. Um, child, actually. Just one. And it's the redhead. Not the one that you would be expecting to push my buttons. Maybe maybe it is the redhead. Maybe you do expect the redhead to push my buttons. Maybe that's why she came out with red hair. Um, let's see. For my favorite gamer, level up, happy birthday. Congrats and game on. So I like that there's like, it's not just words, that they're kind of in different fonts and kind of look like video game, um, kind of techno words. So that one is game controller and this one was level up. Let's see, this is called skinny strips vertical. And I know they have a skinny strips horizontal too, which is sold out. Um, but I don't know why you can't just turn it. So, yeah, I'm not sure what the difference is, but I would think you'd just be able to turn it. Mary Abby, I know you're waiting on the skinny strips horizontal, so you'll have to fill me in on why we can't just go, oop, horizontal. I must be missing something. Um, this is a stitch in, I can't read it. Stitch Window Trio, I believe. It just says win, but I think it's called Window Trio. And somebody ordered one of these, and I have to order in two, so we've got an extra one. This one, we had a sample of up there, and um, it's the word beautiful, and then you've got the shadow for it, and we were, were sold out of it. And it's just written beautiful. The font is beautiful. Um, it could be applied to any kind of a card, whether it's a sympathy card, it's a thank you card, it's a birthday card. So we needed this one back in stock because it's a nice one. This one is Floral Focus, and this is from the last release, but it's been really popular. And we were down to just one, so I grabbed another one. You've got um, sending love with sympathy and peace. Plus, oh, and then down here you've got hope. And then you've got that gorgeous flower. And you could just ink up one of the flowers, because there's kind of two there. Or you could do the whole thing together. This does have a die, but I don't think I ordered the die in this order, because we already had some in stock. This one is from the last release, but we never got any in because they sold out uh, before I got my order in, even though I got it in right away. They were just gone that quick because she's super duper cute. It's called Drink Up the Sunshine. And you've got this adorable little girl floating in an inner tube. And you can put sunglasses on her. You've got these palm fronds and things. And then you've got three different sentiments and this cute little bird. Your sentiments are Drink Up the Sunshine, Have a Sunshiny Birthday, and can we chill together soon? There is a coordinating die with that set. And let me find it here because there is a pool die. Here it is. So this is a pool die that goes really cute with her. And you could have her just chillaxing in the pool. Um, this can also look like a coffee bean if you need a, um, if you're doing a 
coffee stamp. Do this in white and it becomes ice. If you want to make an ice skating rink, do it in yellow and it can become sand. If you want to do a golf card and make this like a sand, what do they call that, sandbar? So lots of different options, not just a pool, but I have seen it the cutest done with her, um, done in the, as a pool. So this is Drink Up the Sunshine. Here's the coordinating die. And then this is just called Swimming Pool. But it's more than just a pool. Lots of uses. Um, Doctor, Bedside Manor. This one is also from the last release, but it got sold out before we got any. So we did not get this cute little doctor in until now. He does have a coordinating die. And your sentiments here are, thank you for being so patient with me. Time with a great friend is the best prescription. Doctor is another word for hero and get well soon. You've got a little pill, you've got a little jar of uh, medicine with a heart on it, and then you've got the cute little male doctor with a stethoscope. We also have a nurse that came in on the last release and uh, I believe we still have some of those left. So we have a doctor and a nurse, both. This is what called um, Pure Innocence Lil Pumpkin. Oops, that's kind of blurry. Sorry about that. Little Pumpkin. And she's got uh, sentiments that say, Happy Fall, Lil Pumpkin, thankful for you, with gratitude, and bless you. This is nice because it's not Halloween, but it could be used for Halloween. And uh, with her holding that pumpkin, it's perfect for fall um, or Halloween, either one. And you can even add a little Jack Lantern face on it really easily. And she's got a coordinating die. And that one again, again is called Pure Innocence Lil Pumpkin. Now earlier when I was talking about those of you who like coffee and you could make this into a coffee bean, here is a new coffee stamp. This is called Miss You A Latte. And you've got this cute little girl holding two huge cups. Actually it's a lady, not a girl. And you've got three sentiments. We need to catch up. We need to catch up on a latte miss you a latte and hope you perk up soon this one is the title is called miss you a latte and there is a coordinating die and do this in brown coffee works together that way you're getting the most bang for your buck this one is called bundles of love and this is from an older release we had the die but we were out of the stamps so i got some more of those in so if you missed the stamp before we've got it back in stock your sentiments are just because, and it's spelled B-E-E, because -E, there's a B around all of our flowers. And then, it's so nice of you to be so sweet and sending you bundles of love. This was a special request from a customer, and like I said earlier, I have to order in twos. Hi! Um, you can come be in my video! No, no thank you. That's it. That's the answer I get all the time. Um, so we've got this cute little set here. It's called Fairy Tale Friends. Uh, this is just the stamp. And then your sentiments here are, may your day be more beautiful than unicorns and rainbows. That's awesome to say. To a one of a kind friend, wishing you the happiest birthday ever. I believe in you. We have a fairy tale friendship and you make every day magical. And then you've got these adorable unicorns and that fun rainbow. Um, mermaids, these are adorable too. This one is called Mermaid for Each Other. And this is an older set, but we were out of it. And I just love how cute these little mermaids are, especially the little curly-haired one. And you've got all sorts of sentiments on there. And then the last one from My Favorite Things is Sunflower Sweetheart. So adorable little girl holding the flowers. You've got individual flowers. You've also got flowers that are in a row. You can add fencing to her. You can put the flowers in a pot. And then you've got all your different sentiments with that. And look, she's got uh, little pots here, or you've got the big pot. And there's some grass and some birds and leaves. Your sentiments here are, to the beautiful birthday girl, it's a good day to be happy. You are my sunshine. All things grow with love. Bloom and be happy. And sending sunshine and happiness. I can't say that word very well. There is a coordinating die, too. Um... My favorite things, the new release, you're really going to like it. I think Nikki's really going to like it too. Um, they've kind of got some little gift card tags, which might be a problem because I think Nikki was done making tags for the year. But once she sees those new ones, um, I might have to talk her into doing one more class. So we'll have to see if I can make that work. 
Uh, let's see if I can show you the rest of this stuff here in my pile of mess without causing an avalanche. Um, mini albums. We were low on mini albums, so we got a bunch of different ones in. Here's a couple to show you. Um, I got a couple of each. So a bunch of Prima. So if you like tall, if you like short, there's more than this though. Um, lots of different styles in. We've also got the Heartfelt Creations albums and the Graphic 45 albums. And um, this size here also has, is it this one? No, it's not this one. There's another one similar to this that uh, will fit in this box too. So this is Graphic 45. Oh, here's the other one. Sorry. So this cute little album from Graphic 45 will fit in this box. And this is a little bit shorter than the other Graphic 45 albums that we've done before. Um, but this is a tag and pocket album. So this will have your tags already in it and your pockets already done. So all you have to do is decorate. These other ones from Prima do not have any pockets or any or tags. They're just pages. But you can always make your own. So let's get that stuff out of the way. Michelle, are you sure you don't want to be in my video? <laughs> you can bring that cute little baby to be in the video. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you are from Little Darling Rubber Stamps. And we've got three card kits. We've got stamps from them too, but the first thing I'm gonna show you are these card kits. So we have three of them. One for Christmas, one for Halloween, and one that's just kind of a general friendship. And what's nice about these is you get the supplies to make 10 cards and they come with um, 10 envelopes. So. They are super duper cute. This is one of them. And all of your die cut pieces, your shapes, everything are in the kit. So here's the back. Let me open one of these up and show you. Look at that. So you've got your instructions on what to do. You've got your envelopes. You've got your card bases. Here are your die cuts to do your backing. And then you've got all these um, different card pieces to layer on top. So you're getting 10 cards with all your envelopes and everything and instructions for $19.99. So super duper cute. They look really nice. Um, pretty cool. And here is another one. Love how cute they are. Look at those adorable little witches. Here's one with some candy corn. Ah, not like a candy corn. <laughs> not one of my faves. But they are a cute little set. And again, instructions showing you what to do. And if you've got a beginner scrapbooker, if you've got a kid that wants to do something and you don't want to have to put a lot of effort into it, hand this to them. Let them do it on their own. If you've got a... Um, if you've got to go somewhere and just want to take something easy, you could take adhesive in this and that's all you need and be on the go. Heck, I was scrapbooking the other day in my car, if you didn't see that. I was on the go on the way to a wedding and I was working on a project on the way there. It was not for the bride and groom, but it was for somebody that was going to be at the wedding and I wanted to give it to them because they had had a rough month and I wanted to cheer them up a little bit. So, um, friendship cards, perfect for everyday occasions. And then holiday cards. And you've got all those different die pieces. Nice and fun and easy. So those are from Little Darling Rubber Stamps. Now if I can find the other stuff from Little Darling Rubber Stamps, that would be amazing to kind of keep the video going in the same direction. So let me see what I can come up with here. Kind of got a box of, kind of a box of mess. Here is another one of those cards from them. This is one of the fr friendship ones. So it says thankful, grateful, and blessed. And it's got that cute little, cute little boy on there. And then here are some of their stamps. They've got amazing stamps and dies. Um, so I don't have these all together. Actually, let me put these down and do them one at a time. Oh, that's all to new. <laughs> If you don't know, we are no longer going to carry Altenew. Um, we just haven't been selling it hardly at all. And um, it's taking up a lot of real estate in the store 
for something that could be moving better. So this will be our last Altenew order. Um, everything we have currently that's Altenew is 50% off. So come in and stock up because it's super good prices. I mean, this stamp set here, $12.25. Um, this one here is also $12.25. I just got this stuff in and you're getting it for half price. So less than what I bought it for. Um, but we just got to move stuff and keep stuff moving. So I'll go over that stuff later. But first I want to show you the little darling rubber stamp stuff. And this is the first set, which is called, let me find out where the names are, hydrangeas. Hydrangeas are one of my favorite flowers. They are so pretty. And let me see if there's a stamp here. Oh, we do have a sample with the hydrangeas. Look at that. So, so pretty. So they embossed with it and then they just took and did a little bit of water coloring on there so that would be super easy added some little clear gems which we have some of those on our color wall and then embossed a sentiment as well so this set is called hydrangea and there is a coordinating die but look at the details in those flowers plus you get all those sentiments with it too and your sentiments are wishing you a happy birthday i am so happy for you sending happy mail Sending a little sunshine. So happy we're friends. Happy birthday. Happy holidays. Happy Easter. Happy anniversary. And then you've got this large happy. So that one is the hydrangea. And then this one is called Sunny Meadow. And it's adorable. I like on the back that they show you how to do your layering. So that makes it easy. So your flowers, your butterfly, your leaves, anything that requires layering, they've got it all set up for you to make it as easy as possible. So this one, again, is called Sunny Meadow. And look at this beautiful flower that they did with these. So, so pretty. And then there is a dye that goes with it. And I don't know, you probably can't see it very well in the video. But they have actually, see how the petals are lifted up? I'll see if I can lift them up a little bit higher to show you and then I'll push them back down. See that? So I love that it's like 3D. Super pretty. And you've got different sentiments on here. Things like, um, may your day be delightful. If you, or I think you are wonderful. The best is yet to be, and that's spelled B-E-E -E because there are several B's on here. A bouquet of sunshine, especially for you. Friends like you are precious and few. You are the bee's knees. Thinking of you, I believe in you. And then you've also got one that says buzz. So you've got several options for flowers, several options for bees. You've got a cute little ladybug, a dragonfly. Kind of got all the little critters um, covered in that set. So there's that one. The next one is called No Matter the Weather. And this one, again, has a little bit of layering on it. So you've got, these are wreaths, and they only give you half the wreath, but look at this. It does a full wreath, you just stamp it twice. So that way it doesn't take up as much room in the package, and they can give you more stamps that way. And you can layer these together to get this look. You can add the wheelbarrow by itself, or you can add things into it to fill it up. You've got corn, which we totally need for Iowa. And then you've got your rake and your flowers. You've got all sorts of fun stuff in this one. So you've got sunflowers and sentiments and bows. And let's see, is there a die for this one? There might be a die for this one too that I just didn't put with the set. I'm pretty sure there's a die. Um, the sentiments are, this may be corny, but that's hilarious being from Iowa. Um, just a card to say, I'm nuts for you. Hello, thank you, Autumn. Together, forever, best friends, thinking of you, I love you, no matter the weather, pumpkin kisses, harvest wishes, and and. So here is a sample, you, you, ugh, sample using this set, which is called No Matter the Weather. And they filled the um, wheelbarrow with the pumpkins. And it says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. So cute set there. The next one is called Thank You, and you is spelled E-W-E, -E. and look at this cute set. Adorable! Super, super cute. That grass looks so realistic. Not sure. It looks like they just took um, Copic markers, or any markers actually, because they're not even blended, and just made lots and lots of lines. 
but that looks so realistic. So the um, sheep are adorable too. So the sheep are on here and they've got the ones that are jumping shown in this picture. Actually, they've got three different ones on here. So they used all three that are shown in the picture. And you've got one dancing, you've got one jumping, and then you've got one just standing there looking at you. So your sentiments here are thank you, wishing you every happiness, and you was spelled E-W-E. You are very uh, sheepiated instead of appreciated. So grateful to you. When I count my blessings, I count you twice. And like I said, every time they spell you, it's E-W-E, just like on here. The so grateful to you. And that one is called Thank You. The next one is this one, which is fun also. I love the little kid under the umbrella. And what's nice is it doesn't show a face. So that could be a girl or a boy, depending on how you want to decorate it. And here is a sample with that set. And actually we have two samples with this set because this one has the cute little duckies that are also on the same set. So let me see if I can hold both of these. And this is your set stamp set from little darling rubber stamps and your sentiments are make a splash under the weather question um, mark sunshine hope you feel better thanks for being my and that would go with the sunshine sunshine on a rainy day you are my sunshine keep a pocket full of sunshine rain or sunshine you'll always be mine and then um, dance in the rain jump in puddles and be happy those are all separate but you can combine them together so great set I really appreciate them sending me samples. This is so nice of them. And then... Trying to figure out what everything is here. So this one here has flowers on it. I bet that's this, isn't it? No. I've got a couple samples here that I don't know which die they, or stamp set they come from. So we'll have to figure that out. But I'm pretty sure these are little darling rubber stamps as well. And then we have this fun window. Windows are nice. I love that they can look out or look in. This is called a view for all seasons. And you've got uh, just the window. You can add shutters to it. They can be open or closed. You've got this little awning and curtains. You can have the cat looking uh, facing away. You can have the cat facing you. You can add a flower box. Um, there are pumpkins to put in the window. There's additional flowers with a pot. And um, there's some holly and some brick you can add to it. And also some leaves. So that is a view for all seasons. And there is a coordinating die. Oops, dropping stuff. And the last stamp that I'm going to show you is called Pick of the Patch. This one is gorgeous. I love this pumpkin. You've got the full pumpkin here, and then you can add the shadowing on it. And then if you want to make them a jack-o'-lantern, you can add that. If you look on the back, it shows those easy-to-follow instructions showing you how to do that. Same thing with the flowers and the acorns and the little bear. Oh, yeah, there's a little bear that peeks around, peeks around the pumpkin. So you can add him. And there is a coordinating die. So this is called Pick of the Patch. Super great set, most beautiful pumpkin I've seen, and it's nice and large too, which is cool. You can see how big it is here in this die. And that is Pick of the Patch. This one is a stencil that I got from them, and I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it better. Uh, what I love about this is it's kind of a scene stamping stencil. So maybe you don't need a bench, but a bucket of apples or a barrel of apples would be nice. Or a tree. This is a pretty good sized tree. If you want to add the apples, you can. If you want to leave those off, you just don't color in that stencil um, areas when you're doing your stenciling. You can use the fence with this or you can use it with other products. Um, and this is just a nice stencil that you can use um, the pieces by itself or together. There's also grass. So you can use that. And what else do I have? Glue. Art glitter glue. This does not ship in the winter. So I did get another shipment of glue and I've got bigger bottles too. So this is I think four ounces but I did get some eight ounce bottles in. So check into that. Oops I'm dropping stuff. Uh, Memento Tuxedo Black. We got that back in. 
And Memento is Copic friendly, so if you didn't know that, uh, the markers, the ink pads, everything, you don't have to worry about it blending um, with your Copics. We got these cute little spoons, which are also made from the uh, same company who makes the Art Glitter Glue. And these are super cute to use with your embossing powders, just to scoop up a little batch and dump it on your cards. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, our Heffy Doodle. Gotta show you the Heffy Doodle stuff. I love Leslie at Heffy Doodle. She's very generous and sends me samples as well. Um, so we have these here, which are called Elfish Antics. And you've got these adorable little elves. Uh, you've got a girl and a boy elf. This would be fun for people who do elf on the shelf. You could color them to look like your elf. And your sentiments are have some fun, it's Christmas. Uh, be a little selfish, and elfish is um, in a different font. Naughty or nice, question mark. Be a little naughty. Merry Christmas. Um, go on. So I think that's to go with the, like, go on, be a little selfish. And then all those fun little accent pieces to go with your elves. Here is a sample of a cute one. And it says, happy winter. And you've got that fun little elf on there. And then I think I have another elf card. I do. So I've got this great shaker using both of the elves and some of their little presents and things. Look at all those sequins. Nice and bright and cheery. Anybody would love to get this fun card. So that one is called Elfish Antics. The next one is, let me move these. The next one is called Wanna Build a Snowman. And here is a cute set, not even using the snowman, using the penguin and the and a tree. And the tree is actually separate from this set. Um, look at how cute that is though. Love it. Um, so you've got three, four different penguins on here and you do have a snowman and you've got a hat by itself that you can add, like a little snowman hat. You can add that onto one of your penguins if you'd like. You can um, make it like they're, uh, you can have the snowman by itself. You can make him taller by adding these other snowballs, however big you want to make him. Your sentiments are winter wishes, wonderland, sending, our, sending you our warmest. May you always be uh, walking in a, do you want to build a snowman? That one again is called want to build a snowman. And is there a die? I don't see a die, but I'm guessing there's probably a die for that one too. And then here we have a Santa set. This one is showing Mrs. Claus. This is a very simple card, but look at how nice that is, especially done with the Merry Christmas and glitter. And then all you have to do is color Mrs. Claus. Nice and easy. On um, This background paper was uh, done with a stencil, but you could also just get some red and white striped diagonal background paper and make it even easier for you. So the Mrs. Claus on here is from this set, which is called Santa's Village Stamps. And what's nice is you've got um, Santa, you've got Mrs. Claus, and then you've got an elf, plus you've got three different houses. So you can make like a scene. Here's the North Pole with some trees and some presents. And what else do we have on here? Some candy, gingerbread, cupcakes, all sorts of stuff. Because on this little house, it says Santa's Workshop. On this one, it says Mrs. Claus Bakery. And there's also a sweet shop there. There is a coordinating, coordinating die that goes with that set. And then we were low on O'Crumb stamps. We had the die, but needed to stock up on the stamps. So we got that in. We did get this Christmas uh, sentiment stamp. This one is called Elfing Christmas Words. And uh, this is a big set. So we have Christmas, Holiday Cheer, Happy Holidays, Have Yourself, Across the Miles, Nice List, Elfing, Warm Winter Wishes, Naughty or Nice, question mark, um, and a S Smile. So you can make like smiles, um, put the S on the end of anything. Um, have yourself, Merry, wishing you Merry Christmas. You made my day, happy holidays from myself, and elf is emphasized, to you, a merry little, a fun-filled Christmas, sending holiday smiles, sending you, have you been? That goes nice with the naughty and nice. The best way to spread, you cotton-headed ninny muggins, muggins. Smiling is my, smiling is my um, favorite. Favorite is spelled two different ways and is singing loud for all to hear. So that's a great set and that one is called Elfing Christmas Word Stamps. 
we've got love these these are the stitch circle dies and there's so many in the set one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven set of eleven so fabulous love those and those are the stitched circles and then these are the stitched squares same thing probably eleven there too one two Yep, 11 dies. Perfect for your cards to layer together. This is Gnomes Have Feelings 2. Nancy had made some samples of this quite a while ago, but you guys just keep selling out of this, selling out of this, selling out of this, and asking for more. So I know you've seen this in lots of videos, but we got more in because it keeps selling out. Um, we've got some cute little chipboard pieces. This is the state of Iowa. And then you've also got some hearts in there so you can put whatever town you're from. You can mark those. And these are chipboard pieces. These would be nice for the front of a card or in a scrapbook. Mini album or plain scrapbook, either one. We've got the uh, Bigfoot. We have found him, located him here at Scrap Mania. This is also chipboard. And I just thought he was fun. I didn't know what people would need him for, but I have already sold some before they even hit my video. We've got these chipboard witches. We've got the word boo. This is chipboard also. And the last chipboard item that I have is the chipboard spider web. And then you've got uh, your spiders are separate. So uh, see how they move. They're not moving because they're alive. They're just moving because they're separate. So you can place those wherever you'd like or um, not place them at all. So those are our chipboards and those are a new item that we got and then I just found another card sample and this is using that do you want to build a snowman set so let me go find that quick so that you can see which set it is and this one is using the snowman looks like they made their own snowman using the balls they didn't want to use this snowman so using the balls and then the little pieces, they made their own snowman. And then they've got this cute little penguin here that is building the actual snowman and putting the hat on the snowman's head. And that's a shaker card too. So love shakers. Everybody loves shakers. They're just fun. And got some stencils to show you. So this one is just an alphabet. You've got your uppercase, your lowercase, and then also a number set on there. Here's a scene um, stencil, so you can use these pieces together or separate. You've got mountains, clouds, um, birds, a sun or a moon, some deer. <clears throat> this one also has deer, but we've got a few other things. We've got trees in a few different versions, um, a tent, a Bigfoot, fire, and some mountains. Must have really liked that one. I want to show it to you twice. <laughs> And then we've got this one, which is awesome. This is hexagons. So if you want to do uh, like beehive stuff, um, we've got that for you. And then we also have stencil blanks so you can make your own stencils. So you can use an X-Acto knife. If you've got a die cutting machine, um, you can do those. And then we got the box car 